me about greenwashing. What does it mean to to be greenwashing, and how would a company avoid it? Well, you know, people use the phrase really greenwashing. I think really liberally. I, I don't think it happens that often. Uh, Greenwashing to me is when a company says something they know is not true and claims something green that they you know, are, are pretty sure is not true. I, I think there's, there's other things that are more subtle that are just stretching the truth a little bit. There's a study called The Six Sins of Greenwashing that I think is really great that lays out some of the things that companies do that just stretch the truth or say something that really doesn't mean anything like saying that your aerosol can doesn't have you know, ozone depleting substances coming out when it was banned 25 years ago. So nobody has them in their cans. It's not really a, a differentiator. So I think companies have to be careful and the way they, they, they are most careful is to say something that's true. And it sounds sort of obvious, but if you have something that's measurable, you know, verifiable, definable, that your, that your product or service does, that makes it greener, that means it's lower impact, that's noticeable. It's not irrelevant. It's something not teeny, but a, but a real change. Then you should market it, and that's you know that's not greenwashing. That's actually just marketing the benefits of your product. So if it's real, absolutely go talk about it. But otherwise, be careful. And I think the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, is looking at some some claims like natural that people throw out on products all the time, and they're starting to look at these things you know aggressively and try to try to help us understand what those mean as consumers, which we desperately need.